New hope tonight for the tens of thousands of Australians who live in fear of developing type 1 diabetes. A Melbourne research group believes it's developed a nasal spray to prevent the development of the disease in at-risk patients. Peter Pritchard was first diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when he was 25 years old. Uh, unfortunately, my daughter shows that she also has some diabetic antibodies, which uh, means that she may get it as well. Her predisposition to the disease making 15-year-old Tara an ideal candidate to take part in a trial to prevent it developing. I was always told that I was at risk, so instead of just doing nothing, may as well do something. So far, human trials of the nasal spray vaccine have had impressive results. It's for the first time we've demonstrated that we've actually uh, changed the immune system's response to insulin. We've switched it off or suppressed it. Type 1 diabetes makes the immune system attack healthy insulin-producing cells. 150,000 Australians have it, that figure increasing by almost 5,000 a year. It's their family members who could benefit most from a vaccine. We can identify children many years before they get the disease at an early stage, which is when we want to prevent. The trial's success is partly due to the vaccine being administered as a nasal spray. It's technology that could also be applied to treat other autoimmune diseases. For example, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis and so on. Kate Creedon, 10 News.